Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, this is a request from my, one of my lovely subscribers regarding the windscreen wipers and how you can make them work properly when they all sort of seized up. And this is a sort of perennial problem with E31s. They're not used in the winter, hardly ever see any rain. And yeah, it was like my first E31 run. I bought it, bought it in London, started driving it home started to drizzle a bit, fired up the windscreen wipers, I got up to about there and flopped back down again and sort of stopped about there, wouldn't park, wouldn't do anything. And in those sort of situations you think, oh goodness that means I have to change all the windscreen wiper linkages and all the rest of it. But I thought, well I'll try lubricating the system first. And there's quite a few bits you can't get to by the way, without taking a few bits off and we'll go through all of that. Anyway, I thought, try lubricating it. Yeah, that fixed it, it was fine, it wasn't any problem at all. Same with this E31, windscreen wipers hardly did anything and I had to do exactly the same again. Lubricate all the linkages and it's been fine for the last 11 or 12 years, no problem at all. Of course we see quite a lot of rain in the UK and of course I use it to drive to work and back each day. So yeah, they get a bit of use and they stay working, once you've got them working they're generally okay for a long time. Anyway, that's enough blurb, let's get on with it. Right, first thing we've got to do is move the wipers just enough so we can get to one of the nuts. And then what we do is we remove the microfilter housing and that gives us access to the linkage. So what you do is you put the key in the ignition, wipers on, turn the key off. There we go then, well obviously my wipers are working properly, what you might find is it just manages to get about there. But we've got to clear this nut here, um, because we need to remove the microfilter housing. So our next thing we do is get rid of the sort of rubbery bits, if I remember rightly, yeah, it's been 12 years since I've done this. There we go, then we'll remove the top plate to the microfilters. The top cover off first. I think that was a 10. That's a 10. There we go. Let's get the cover off to start with. The one in the middle is a 9, just to confuse you. Yeah, we all do have a bit of a clean around the windscreen. It's that winter for you now. Three of those off. Nine mil socket for the next bit. If I remember rightly, yeah, it's a nine. Doesn't have to come all the way off, just needs to be loosened enough so you can get the plastic bit off. That's probably far enough, I should think. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's filthy in there. Yeah, that give me a good excuse to clean it. Now I could probably get in there, um, but I think I removed the microfilter housing so you can see things a bit better. I think there's seven mil. There we go. Right, seven mil. Keep hold of them unless they come out. If you lose that, you've lost it. Self tappers go into plastic just to get about get your finger behind it. I've, got, I've probably got some close-up shots of this as well somewhere. There we go. Right, one more here. Yeah, good job I've got uh, magnets on the bottom of my heater valve cover. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like it's doing a great deal, to be honest. Right, that's everything undone. Rubber out of the way. Oh, I have to clean that, that's for sure. A bit of a mess. It just sort of pulls up, it's in a 
It's a little fold underneath. There we go. Oh yeah, full of leaves. Right, the next thing is, well, I've got the windscreen wipers so, so I can show you which bits to uh, lubricate. Got a couple of microfiber cloths stuck on with a clothes peg. Probably won't stay there for long. So, there's one down here. Should be able to see that moving, that one there. Need to get oil in there. We need to get oil under here. And we get oil around this point here just to give it a little pool of oil in there and then the most important one is what's going on in there see if i can get my camera in there there we go yeah that needs to be lubricated that's the main linkage there doing all, most of the work so all of those have to be lubricated and we do that using an old-fashioned oil can right no time like the present here's my good old-fashioned oil can filled with engine oil, whatever I used last time. Nice little pool in there. Get a better shot of that. Yeah, yeah, nice little pool under there. Then it gets awkward, especially when you're holding a camera. Let's go for this one here. All right, I'm gonna get some oil under there, right where it lands. Oil's going to go everywhere. Get used to that at the start. Don't worry about it. Then we've got the one under here. Going to give that a squirt. It's old and rusty in there. There we go. Oil's going to go everywhere. Get used to it. <laughs> it happens. There we go. Got a smile on that. So we've got oil at the top there. That's going to wear its way in. Oil underneath all under there now we've got this one here now, i think the last time i did it i just sort of waited it until it got to the right place and squirted it but it's probably good a job as anything so i'm getting myself ready there we go got in every fulcrum that moves squirt a bit of oil in there all comes out the uh, water drains eventually we could stop that one. You can see, actually, I've used um, spray grease on it last time, by the look of it. There we go. There we go. Good squirting as it goes round. Right, I think what I do is stop that. How about there? Try there. That's better. There we go, we can see the mechanism a lot better now. Give that a good old squirt over the top there and in the bearing in there. There's all sorts of slidey bits in there. There we go, that's better. Yeah, oil everywhere, that's gonna happen. There we go. Well, they're going fine, aren't they? Now, what you may find, and what I found with my first D31, is that you'd switch it off. So I'll switch it off, and it should park like that, and mine wasn't. So what I was doing was, after I'd oiled it, give it a quick tweak on the thingy, and then wait for it to, oh no, sorry. Got to put the, uh, wiper into the off position there we go when it parks there so we'll try that again wait till it got there and then push it assist it on the way down and do the same with the other wiper as well and you do that about 50 times and eventually what it will do is start parking so yeah that's it push down on the wiper stalk give it a poke as it goes into park down on the wiper stalk, poke, and then you'll find it all of a sudden, it will start parking. There we go. Yeah, it takes quite a few goes to get it to park properly. We do it and uh, eventually we'll get there. There we go. 
Radio. Well, that's not too hard, is it? So let's quickly reiterate the bits that we have to lubricate. Starting from in here, that lubricate in there, give a little pool of oil in there. Got to lubricate the top of this point here. Now I'm afraid it is going to get everywhere. And also that linkage underneath, and you'll see that as it rotates round. Give that a good squirting, and then just squirt yourself silly up in there as that fulcrum spins round. But that's really all there is to it. Not, nothing else to it. Yeah, you just keep working at it, especially the park is usually the hard bit. They say stalk down, let it do its wipe, and as it comes down, just pull down, and it. Uh, Make sure that the lubrication gets into the point where it's actually fully down in park and then you'll, what you'll find is it'll park nicely. Right, let's get things back together. First of all, we need to get the wipers up the top. Close enough. Right, first thing we put back is the microfilter filter housing. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, the right hand side wasn't too happy last time. It was in place, but it wasn't that happy. A little plastic insert. There's one there, and there's one over here. And that's what those seven mil screws go into, self tappers. It's held on in other places. And uh, yet the microfilter housing itself just slots into a slot down the bottom. And it clips over this area here. So it's all clear of debris now. So it should go in a lot easier. Righty ho. A few leaves in there, nothing to worry about. Oh, clean that out really, but uh, be time to change the microfilter soon. So yeah, it just slots in there. So that's fitted into the bottom. Now, as I say, once the uh, the cover's on then that secures round here and it holds the whole thing in place. Uh, but the next thing we'll do is we'll get the seven mil bolts in. Okie doke, so we've got a seven mil on a long extension. Done this a few times now, so I've got a vague idea where they go. If it's your first time, then sort of have a good look around, see where they're gonna go and then you've got a good chance of getting them in. It's all done by feel, really, rather than watching. There we go, and don't do them up tight. That's as tight as it needs to go. Seven mil on the other side, and as I said, this one, that's in line now. This one looks like the plastic bit that it screws into is a bit worn. So I'm not gonna do it up too tight. Push it into position as it goes. Well, well, no. <laughs> it sort of goes in and then sort of droops back out again. But once we get the top on, that'll hold that in place. Nice and clean and shiny now, of course. Gives me a chance to clean these bits up, which are usually inaccessible. Rightio, so it's got a fork that goes under the conical bolt. Strange old affair this is, really. And the rest of it then clips round onto the sheet metal work. That holds that in place. And of course, once we screw the 10 mils in, then that will hold the microfilter housing up. So make sure you give it a good push as it goes up. So 10 mil next, start in the middle, push him up. Push, sorry, push the whole microfilter housing up rather than the, that plastic bit there. Put one in the middle, I think I'll do the far one as well to make sure that holds in. So now you can see it's all held in place. One at the other side, I think flop back down now. And then again, what we'll do is we'll push the microfilter housing up, make sure this is over the top, which it is. There we go, and it doesn't flop back down again. Far one. Uh, 
and nine mil in the middle. Yeah, always put your sockets back in the right place or you never find them again. Right, nine mil at the top. This just needs to be brought down so it touches the metal fingers. Doesn't need to be tight at all. There we go, that's that's far enough in. Ooh, come out, come on. We're out. Right, what I think I'll do is I'll bring you in so I can show you all the fittings. Rightio, well the seven mil fittings are hiding under here. Just about C1 there, there's a seven mil. Goes into a plastic little nut thing. Then we've got three 10 mils, got one here, one hiding round there, one over there, and then we've got a nine mil conical nut there. Right, rubbery bits back on. Right, and there we go. Just need to take the mic through. Oh yeah, forgot of course. Heater valve cover. Now it's always a pain in the neck if you haven't got magnets on it because they do tend to break and uh, you do need to get it off to get to the seven mil bolts which you're behind there. Um, yeah, the easiest way to get these off is get a pair of uh, long nose pliers under the here and then lever up these points here otherwise they're going to snap and once you successfully get it off and you can see this one here has broken when I first took it off a long time ago yeah put uh, neodymium magnets in there glue them into place and yeah they'll stick onto the top there successfully and you won't lose it it's stuck on pretty well And there we go then, another job well done, I think. Yeah, so if you have windscreen wipers which don't, don't bother to actually wipe the windscreen at all, then yeah, use this method to lubricate them and you'll be good forever. They haven't slowed down at all with my ownership, so it's been 12 years, years since I lubricated them. Obviously drive the car to work every day and it rains a lot, let's face it, in the UK. And uh, yeah, they've been fine ever since. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Put the thumbs up if you found it useful. Keep subscribing and keep commenting. It's always good to hear from all my members. It's fantastic. It's an excellent community these days. See you next time.